Hello everyone. Today we will start with a new topic using the brackets. This topic is basically used whenever the question is given whenever the question is given with more than one operation. Whenever we have to use this topic whenever you have whenever they will give more than one operation in those cases we will use a board mass rule. You all must be familiar about the board mass rule. You all, you all must have studied this rule in your previous classes. Board mass means bracket of division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. So in the given question, if they have given a bracket, first of all you are, you are going to solve that bracket. Then you will solve division, then you will solve multiplication, addition and subtraction. And if in the given bracket more than one operation is given, then also you will follow the same rule. First you will do multi division, then you will do multiplication, then addition and then subtraction. So I have taken a simple question. Here I have taken 7 parts. The first part is 12 multiplied by 14 divided by 7. Here in this expression, here in this question, they have given more than one operation. Basically, two operations are there. One is multiplication, another is division. So how we are going to solve this part? Let's start first part. The first part is 12 multiply 14 divided, sorry, it will be divided by 7. As I have told you, whenever more than one operation is there, we are going to use board mass rule. Here, according to this, this rule, first of all, we are going to solve the bracket. But in the given expression, they, there is no bracket. So we are going to jump to division, then multiplication, addition, and then subtraction. In the given part, they have given division. So first, we are going to divide the two numbers. The division sign is given between 40, 14 and 7. So we are going to divide these two numbers, 12 and multiplication sign will be copied as it is. When 14 is divided by 7, here I am going to show the division 14 divided by 7. 7 to the 14 and the remainder will be 0. So whenever 14 is divided by 7, what we will get? 2. So here we will write 2. Now there is only one operation left. So it will be 12 multiplied by 2 will be 24. So our answer is 24. So as you all can see, here first we have used the board mass rule. According to the board mass rule, first we are going to divide and then we will multiply. First we have divided these two numbers and then we have multiplied the remaining terms. Now let's come to the next part. Second part is 160 multiplied by 10 divided by 5 multiplied by 4. Let's come to the third part. Sorry, second part. 160 multiplied by 10 divided by 5 multiplied by 4. As you all know, I have already told you whenever more than one operation is given, we are going to use the board mass rule. And according to the board mass rule, first we will solve the bracket. Here in this expression, they have not given any bracket, so we will come to division. So they have given a division sign and the division sign is given between 10 and 5. So basically, we, first we are going to divide these two numbers and then we will uh, work on the remaining operations. 160 and multiply. Multiplication sign will be copied as it is. Let's multiply 10 divided by 5. When 10 will be divided by 5, we'll get 2. And the remaining term, this one, this part, will be copied as it is. Now, there is no other operation other than, there is no operation other than multiplication. So, we are going to multiply these numbers. You can multiply any, these, any two numbers. 160 multiplied by 2, it will be 320 multiplied by 4. Let's multiply them. The answer will be 1280. So we have solved the two parts. Now let's come to the third part. Our third part is 160 multiplied by 10 divided 5 multiplied by 4. The third part is similar to the second one, but in this part they have given brackets. So according to the board mass, first of all we are going to solve the bracket. We will solve the two brackets are given, so we can solve both of them in the single step. In the first bracket, only one operation is given and these two numbers are multiplied with each other. Let's multiply them. 160 multiplied by 10 will be 1600. Dividation sign is there, but we have to solve this bracket, so we are going to copy the dividation sign. Now let's multiply, now let's solve this bracket, let's multiply these two numbers, 5 multiplied by 4 will be 20. Now 1600 divided by 20, let's divide them. 
सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी मल्टीप्लाई बाय एट विल बी वन सिक्सटी वन वील सब्ट्रैक्ट दैम द रिमेंडर विल बी जीरो जीरो विल बी कॉपीड एंड ट्वेंटी डिप्लाई बाय जीरो विल बी जीरो सो वैन सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड इज डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी आर आंसर विल बी एट्टी सो आर आंसर आफ्टर सॉल्विंग दिस पार्ट आर आंसर इज एट्टी नाउ आई एम स्किपिंग द फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ पार्ट आई एम डायरेक्टली कमिंग टू द सिक्स पार्ट सिक्स एटीन प्लस फाइव प्लस फोर इन ब्रैकेट दे हैव गिवन सेवन माइनस थ्री प्लस सिक्सटी फोर डिवाइड ट्वेंटी माइनस एट मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू नाउ वेन वील कम टू द सिक्स पार्ट लेट सी वॉट दे हैव गिवन हेयर इन दिस पार्ट दे हैव गिवन टू टाइप्स ऑफ ब्रैकेट वन इज दिस स्मॉलर ब्रैकेट अनदर वन इज दिस स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट As you all know, according to the board mass rule, first we are going to solve the bracket. But if in case there are, there are two brackets in the given expression, in those cases we are going to solve. First we are going to solve the smaller bracket, and then we will come to the uh, square bracket, or you can say the bigger bracket. First, first let's solve the smaller bracket, and smaller bracket is also given in both the square brackets. In the first square bracket, they have given a smaller bracket, and in the second square bracket, they have also given the smaller bracket. Let's copy the remaining parts. Eighteen plus five. First, we are going to solve this smaller bracket. Seven minus three will be four. Four. But the problem is there is no sign between five and four. And whenever there is no sign between any two number, the sign will be the multiplication sign. Plus sixty-four. Divided. Twenty minus eight multiplied by two will be sixteen. Remember that as I have told you, when there is no sign between two number, the sign will be a multiplication sign. Now we have solved both the smaller bracket. Let's come to the greater brackets, or you can call it as the square brackets. First, we will come to the first square bracket. Again, the problem is in this square bracket, they have given two operations. One is multiplication, another is Sorry, one is addition, another is multiplication. And according to the board mass, again first we will solve the multiplication sign, and then we will come to the addition sign. Eighteen and plus will be copied as it is. The multiplication sign is given between these two numbers, so we are going to solve these two. Five multiplied by four will be twenty. Plus sixty-four. Divide. Now, when we'll come to the second square bracket, there is only one operation that is a minus sign, or you can say the subtraction sign. When we'll subtract these two numbers, twenty minus sixteen, it will be four. It will be four. Now, when again the square bracket is left, the first square bracket is left. First, we are going to solve these two terms. Eighteen plus twenty, it will be thirty-eight plus sixty-four. Minus, sorry, divided by four. Now again, this we have solved all our brackets. Now we will come to the part here again. The two operations are given. One is plus, another one is divide. So according to the board mass, first we are going to divide the two terms. Thirty-eight plus will be copied as it is. When we will divide sixty-four and four, what we will get? When sixty-four divided by four, we will get sixteen. And now we are going to add them. The addition will be fifty-four. Hence, our answer will be fifty-four.